CC, 3-2 winners in overtime. Last night, the man who scored the game winner takes the draw here for the team in black and yellow. Friday, see how Saturday goes. You almost think that a break for them, kind of not what they would like at this time as they're kind of <laughs> yeah. getting these things connected. Here's Logan Will now. What a start. The captain beating person. Less than two minutes in, one nothing to the visitors. It's again, it's a turnover right there, and that's just inside that UND zone, and just a good job getting the defenseman twisted up. Logan Will, watch this, goes right by the defenseman there and then shoots across the gray and goes over the top. Of Got that pass away. Labado able to take it back for CC. Here's Veremia, back to Laba. Good stop by Person who oh, gets rammed into, and this that's will be a penalty, penalty. and Jamanik's got to watch out. Uh, for me, I really think Colorado College has done a great job in the neutral zone, though. And they're, they're doing a good job of uh, continue to just try make something or do something with whatever you've got. This is the opportunity for me. There's Blake now leaving it back to Livanovich. The one-timer from Bird, tipped in front, back of the net, and we are level. That one-time blast, touched home by Jackson Coates. Well, yes, the power play, you felt like this was going to maybe be the recipe, and it was. A good job by Livanovich to get that over to Berg right in the wheelhouse, and a good job driving the net was Jackson Koontz. Watch right here in front. Does he redirect that in front? And then Berko, Andrews is over there trying to get... From a young man from West Fargo. And just like that, all that frustration ebbing away a bit, but here come the Tigers right back. Will, banning on the trance, and this one trickles across! An immediate response for CC. Weird, uh, watch in front of the net. This is what's going to happen. It's going to be right here driving in. Right here, fanned on that pass. Does he get, does he catch that left pad? Right here, look at the left pad. And this is that fan shot again. That person's been beat on three times of it and the unfortunate bounds. But here's the reverse look. Watch, does he get any in person? I don't know if there's enough there. I don't know if you can challenge that. Here's the overhead. I don't think he touches him. I think he kind of spins around him. Lots of white shirts driving forward. It was a four on two. They don't get the shot away. How many times have we said that tonight? All these opportunities, these golden grade A opportunities and no shot. Here's Pike. This one gets in. Garrett Pike, the floater from the blue line. Well, how about that? You're going to see this. It goes from low to high, and it's just a one-time puck that has eyes. And again, you got some bodies in front. That certainly helps. But this puck knuckles and floats a little bit. And I wonder if it deflects in front. Not sure if uh, that hit anyone. It looked like Ethan Strachey was in the vicinity of that as well. But again, this North Dakota group wants to hit this season. CC would love to earn that moniker as well. This game's going to be decided over the next 20 minutes or more, and we're underway for period three. He finds Blake now. Millar again, using that long reach. Blake maintains possession. The one-timer from oh. Livanovich. Big stop by Emberico. Berg was in front as well. Dish over and a nice one-timer just missing the mark. That happened really quick like. Something out of nothing. Now a chance at the other end. Stewart in front. Person able to stop and cover. Yeah, opportunity right here. This is Colorado College's uh, opportunity. Look at there. Just an excellent job. Hard on puck. Perron able to push him off the puck. Johannes up to McLaughlin. Five seconds remaining. Back to Johannes on the rush of fire. Easy save that time for Embarico, but one he still had to make. And forward to start for the Tigers. Berg, Blake, and Livanovich for North Dakota. Back to Blake. He'll cut in. Keeps his feet, but loses the puck. And now watch out. Glenn Veremiev coming in to win it. Veremiev on the backhand. CC knocks off number one in OT for the second night in a row. Sweep complete for the team from Springs.